so we are on our way to Bauda. We're gonna go around the stupa in Bauda and we're gonna go find some Dongba, which is hot Tibetan beer. And he's gonna be able to try it too, fortunately, because it's millet beer and I'm really looking forward to it. Let's go to Bauda. is yet another UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you guys are in Kathmandu, make sure to check this place out as well, Baudanath Stupa. It's definitely worth a visit, and we're currently just walking around the stupa. Just burn an incense here. Yeah, incense. Incense? Yeah. incense there you? It comes from the Himalayan region. Yeah, yeah. Ani yo kiki o da yo incense. Kavali offering on yo body work on ama. He says you use these as offerings for your family for 50 rupees. Kavali la konsa. It's it's believed if you walk around the stupa and you make a wish, you're granted your wish. That's what the people here believe. Always walk your, clockwise. And yes, always walk clockwise. This is uh, mostly a Buddhist place. Let's it's definitely in. worth a visit. Let's go in. in. Always lots of incense burning. Smells good. There's the incense burning. Everybody comes up and gets their photo ops up here. So you get a nice picture with, you know. Another Insta spot. Insta spot. <laughs> People also get on here to walk around and they just take like loops and loops and loops and burn a lot of calories. It's actually a really healthy way to let those calories go. So we made two loops and now we're getting out of here to our preferred destination which is going to be some place that sells stone bar. We have these menacing clouds right above us. I just hope it doesn't start raining anytime soon because I still got to walk around to find this one place so I can go get that drink. These dogs are just lounging. We're currently getting out of the stupa because I just found out the place that sells tongba is outside of the stupa. So we're gonna get a tongba or two over there and then come back in here to get some pho at the Vietnamese place that we just found out. So this is tongba, Tibetan Nepali beer. You can either drink it hot or cold. It's made out of millet and I love the dish it comes in. It's very traditional. <coughs> This is Patrick's first tongba ever. At a little, yet another shack. It's hot. Hot? It's the hot one. So, hey, hey, not, so you're, you're not supposed to stir it, and I started to stir it. Mm, it's sweet. A few moments later. <laughs> Miranam Patrico. Jigme. Jigme Cheers. Cheers. So this was my fourth refill and I just found out you actually refill it to make it less strong. Less strong per sip. Less strong per sip because if there's not much water in it, um, it, it tastes really strong. It's like the last sip of tea is really like full of tea versus if you had half a cup of tea and you added water in it, it wouldn't be as strong of a taste. That's how it looks. That's what the cup is full. Of millet, yeah. Millet. And then you add more water to make it less strong. Oh, there you go. And it just changes Cheers. color instantly. From water to wine. Here's my last bits left from the drink. And the 
further down it goes, the stronger it gets. I asked them if we could like go out and sit and drink, and they were like, no, if you are out and the cop sees you, they're gonna arrest us. So apparently this is um, an illegal drink because it's home brewed, it's not legal. They like being lawless in the fall. Here's the place we drank at. Bye. So it was 360 rupees, so that's around a dollar fifty cents per person. The millet that was in that drink is like a fermented millet, and then you add the hot water, and it makes it like a tea, a quick alcoholic tea. But if you took the same millet and you boiled it, and the steam goes up in the little contraption, cools off, and drips out. That's the Roxy we had the other day, like the same, it's the same base product, but once it's like beer versus hard alcohol. Here's our view, and here's the place, hello! <laughs> By the way, I ordered cake because I couldn't resist before the carrot cake. Before we even cake. got to our table, she ordered cake before we even sat down. I, let me try this real quick. Setting a terrible example for our children one day. She's just going for the cake. This was not on the menu. Mm. Here's my vegetarian food. Looks delicious. Who's saying good? Ah, thank you. Ooh, how is it, baby? Really good. It's really good. Roger just ate a whole. With green pepper, that's a green chili pepper. <laughs> eat it, eat it. We're the same chef here too. Ready? Eat it. <laughs> Ready? Eat it. See people, things we do for the internet. Is it spicy? Oh, God. Think about chili Klaus. I'm instantly sober. That's what he just ate, one of these treacherous little shits. Okay, Rock's you guys, turn. it's my turn. Patrick's tolerance to spicy peppers is way higher than mine, so I'm gonna give this a shot, although I'm really nervous. Are you serious, though? Yeah, eat a, eat a little bite. Just a little bite, right? Okay. Really? Yeah, did you bite it? No, I haven't. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. This is true love. <laughs> Time to head home. Time to head home. We had a great day. Fun but, day. Yeah. We're gonna get Tired. our taxi and drive through the dusty road on our way home. Yeah. Hi. See you guys next Tuesday. He looks like a 70s dancer. <laughs> he looks like Bell Bottoms. Yeah, I know. He's got like funky Very little feet. <laughs>